Maybe it's Copper Crown. I just woke up. I'm very dizzy because of the altitude. It's it's really really weird. But I don't know if anybody can tell. I just got to be really dizzy and walking. Whoa. Okay. You tell where I am. Where am I? Anyone know? Anyone have any idea? I am at Walmart. This is following me around Walmart. I'm not gonna buy anything. I have no money. <laughs> it's that poor people's decision. Do you want to buy something? And they are having your money. Oh, let's see what they got here. Easter books. Um, touch and feel. That sounds sexual. <laughs> we do have to touch and feel. The book. Oh, what says it? Oh, it's chickens. Oh, okay. Well, this is really weird. I'm gonna stop. Touching and feeling chickens. See chickens, chickens. Okay, well, this is for the psychology family, the touch of feel. <laughs> Happy Easter, Uncle Ed. I know you like to touch and feel things, and I'm quite tired of you touching and feeling me. Enough is enough. Okay. <laughs> some of these keys. I found some keys. I think I might keep these. These are cool. I found some keys. Oh, wait, there's a keychain. Yeah, that's not a good idea. That's called stealing. Those are pretty cool, though. All right, moving on. Uh, tons of these. Okay, everybody, everybody just like runs to Walmart around Easter and it's like, I have to get these because you can put candy in them. You can put money in them. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna put it on my head. Hello, happy Easter. I bring you eggs. <laughs> I'm glad I don't get no ideas. <laughs> the Easter baskets. Um, we had these like back in my day. I was all like, these are cool. You should get some of these baskets that are toys like these policemen. Was it like SWAT or something? Is it? I guess SWAT comes with fun dip and Skittles and well, just fruit snacks. You can, I mean, while you're waiting on the the uh, terrorists or the ne negotiators, you gotta have something to eat. You know, and we haven't shot him yet. We haven't. We haven't even pulled our guns out. But well, have some well, just fruit snacks. And in the meantime, <laughs> yeah, sure. This is the uh, water guns. It comes with well, it's just fruit snacks as well. You see this? And M&M's. And sweethearts. Yeah. Having a water fight in the meantime, I'm going to eat some M&M's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think you have time to eat M&M's while you're getting sprayed. With what? Oh, they have a Barbie one. And it comes with Skittles and well, just fruit snacks. Listen, what's going on with this? Is this like a hostage situation with Barbie? <laughs> Barbie, you're being a hostage. No! Call Ken. Somebody call Ken. <laughs> Somebody call Ken. I'm being head hostage. <laughs> okay, this is another police officer one. What, what, it comes with lots of fruit snacks again. And the fruit dip. The fu fun dip, not fruit dip. And Skittles. So what is Snickles? I was going to call them Snickles. Okay. And it comes with a giant police car. You, If you're a cop, you got to have a giant police car and a mini police car. And you definitely got, oh, wait, hey, I'm glad this is for you. They've got handcuffs. I'm glad. I know you like to get handsy. That has nothing to do with handcuffs. What? <laughs> okay, this one is two balls. Three balls. No, two balls. Two balls. And if you have two balls, you get some Moses fruit snacks. <laughs> Uncle Ed. Perfect gift for Uncle Ed. <laughs> He's got two balls and some fruit snacks. Okay, that sounds very weird. <laughs> oh, ooh, ooh. Now this is what I like. I like the Super Mario one. Look at this. Super Mario. Do you know what you know what kind of pants um, Mario wears? Anyways, <laughs> they have Mario. It's got um, I don't know who the the guy is. I see. I don't know Mario that well. I used to play, but I should know all the characters. But bad choices make good. Good what? <laughs> okay, I'm not sure. Bad choices make good stories. Galveston Allen. No. Uh, Uncle Ed. <laughs> you make bad choices, but they make really good stories. You know, there was one time when uh, I drank six gallons of gasoline. Bad choice, but it was a damn good story. And I'm still living to tell it. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, dare to sunglasses. We will try on some sunglasses. It's, it's Galveston. You must have your sunglasses. Say it like that, right? Oh. I actually, they don't look that bad on me, actually. They're not, I don't like they're women, but they don't look that bad. I'm just like, waiting for some kind of goofy effect to come up on the screen, like, yeah. I'm like, I want to scream. Like, ah, no, thank you. 
So done with this dizziness. Now wait, maybe some women's. I probably look awful in these. Well, you should get the bigger ones, but there's the little ones. Not bad. I still kind of, I kind of look like I'm in the Matrix or something. Look, like I'm in the, the glamorous Matrix. <laughs> no. <laughs> where's the bling, Neo? No. Anyways, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, where's the bling? <laughs> and Neo's like, it's in the Matrix. <laughs> Here's some bigger ones. I got a mirror here so that I don't have to look in the camera. No, actually. Oh, okay, no, no, no. I got fly face. No. I was gonna say I like those, but now that I look at myself, I don't know. I have like fly eyes, fly face, fly face. I don't know. Okay, here's some square ones. Let's try the square ones and see what it looks like. And they have some really big giant ones. I'm gonna try these ones too. Those actually look better on my face. I don't know if I have like, a giant bug or something. Is it a giant bug? I don't... Okay, excuse, excuse my fart because I have a really bad gastric system. I don't know. Since I, ever since I got here. Okay, wait. Let's try the square ones on me first and then the, the round ones. There's some more square ones. They look too big for my face, I think. Uh, they swallow my face. Uh, it still looks like I'm in the Matrix, only. But it's bigger. Not the Matrix, the glasses. The Matrix is... The well, Matrix is big. I can't even just describe how big the Matrix is. Oh yeah, I'm only talking about the Matrix. It's like old news. The Matrix has been... That movie has been out for... Like, I dropped a pair of glasses. I can't pick them up if I have a camera. Well, I do like these, kind of, in a way. No, definitely not my style. Once again, fly face. I'm bending down to pick up the glasses. Ow. I have a knee issue. Because I was in the beach. Yes, I'm still wearing these glasses. I was in the beach and I fell in the water. And for those of you who follow me on Facebook who actually know me. <laughs> not you strangers out there. Uncle Ed, you're a stranger. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. Anyways, stranger. He's your uncle. He's not your stranger. Wait, not my stranger? <laughs> okay. But <laughs> I keep a stranger in the basement. Well, so I just came to tidy up your basement in my home. Uh, what is this? Strangers, we don't keep strangers in the basement. But I like you. <laughs> I'm trying to get up on top of this thing. I'm trying to get, pull myself up with this bat. Uh, my, my luck this whole thing come toppling down on me. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, okay, I've got to try the hippie glasses. These look like they're hippie glasses. They're weird. This looks like something my stepmother would have worn. Give me a cigarette, please. <laughs> I don't know. I might. Let, I might. I might. I would wear something like this, but they make my eyes look like huge. I don't know. Maybe for like a costume or some kind of a joke. By the way, I didn't do an April Fool's Day video. It's not April Fool's Day now. It's April second day. Whatever. <laughs> April second day. <laughs> that's that's what it's called. Okay, let's try these. These I think would look good on me. But my hair isn't getting. My hair's not helping here. I have too much hair. This is fun to watch. We try to put on glasses full of hair. Oh, look, this should be going in the police rape kit. <laughs> police rape kit. What? <laughs> the police raped you. <laughs> that's a matter for the police. <laughs> not really. <laughs> okay, there's more glass. Sunglass, sunglass options here. So we're gonna have a look. These are kids, but I wanna try them anyways. <laughs> Sammy, I'm such a kid. Uh, good lord, they're so hard to put on now. Mommy, take me on this year down. See what Boulevard. <laughs> What's a kid? You got, to, you got your pair of Walmart sunglasses and all of a sudden you think you're high society? I got news for you. <laughs> you, you know where your bottle comes from? <laughs> Here's another one. Here's another high society. A daughter. Mm. Actually, those aren't bad. Actually, I would wear these if they weren't so tight in my face. And moving on. Wait, wait. They got some colored ones down there. I gotta try the colored ones. I gotta try them. These, I think, are adults. Oh, no. These are really pretty on the side. Look at that on the side. That's pretty. I like that. It's very colorful. Did my husband, like, seriously lost... He broke or lost or somehow he got food all over my kid's sunglasses. 
Uh, no, it had cat poop on it. Let's not even go there. About the whole cat poop situation. Thank the Lord, there's, that cat is not longer there, and another cat that's pooping is not longer there, and I'll have to worry about trailers and cat poop and stuff like that. So, oh, they, these are fantastic, and I could see myself in them. That's that's fantastic. Love it. Uh, I love it. I see myself. That's so cool. I can see myself in the tablet. Wow. These are. Whoa. You try taking them off. Bad boy. Ooh. They do to your brain. Alright. Enough looking at glasses. I think that's going to make for a longer video. Wait. One more pair. One more pair. I, I saw these. I had to wear them. These are little boys, but. The last pair, I swear. Nope. Nope. Maybe one more pair. Maybe two more. Okay. <laughs> We're back in the Matrix. Ow. Something in my eye. Ooh. Try taking those things off. You really have no idea. Where did these go? Down here? Okay. One more. Two more pairs of glasses. There are three more. One more. One more. This is the last. No. Two more. Two more. And I'm done. Okay. It looks like I should be in a 70s movie. And wearing these make everything yellow and it looks so weird. But actually, this would be good for my grades because it kind of takes the really, really brightness out of the lights. So. Here are my grades. Let's get some yellow sunglasses. Look, okay, I should be in the 70s, maybe. I should be in the porn industry or something. I should be in the porn industry. I'm glad I have a job for you. I only do it family members. Oh, um, okay. That's probably why you drink some gasoline. Cause somebody, somebody abused you, Uncle Ed. All right, last pair. Oh, I can see myself in these too. Pretty darn cool. Alright, I'm done looking at some of this. These are pretty awesome. I guess they gotta have a variety of shades of beer and gals. And you gotta have a variety of shades. Um, there's some cups here. Some. So I hope I don't break this. Oh, wait, wait. That one. I can't really read, but. This is Galveston Island, Texas. That's where we're at, baby. Galveston Island. I got some coffee cups. Oh, this got a spoon and it's the heck I don't know what that is. Fish? It's fish. For the fisherman who likes a spoon in their coffee. Do you like a spoon in your coffee? <laughs> oh, get sharked. Get sharked. That's, um, it's definitely not a baby shark. Wait, there may be some baby sharks in there. Baby shark. <laughs> uh, well, no, this is somebody I know. Let's not even get started. Flamingos. Look like a freaking a chorus line of flamingos. The heck's going on there? It's a sand and a bottle thingy. Good, look at this. One. See this? Who left their flip flops on the beach? Come on now. Seriously? And they're not even the, they're not even the same flip flops. Two different stuff. Who's wearing two sets of flip flops and just leaves them on the beach there? I'm, sorry. I'm gonna leave my flip flops on the beach. Somebody come along and notice that I have two different sets of flip flops. You don't know pairs of left and right that do the colors as somebody will notice <laughs> okay there's some interesting um interesting um barbecue party it's for this, uh, these are kitchen towels for the summer do you need a kitchen towel for the summer huh? i know what you do <laughs> i know it gets messy at a barbecue <laughs> you need a kitchen towel and, and and for those hot pots bam <laughs> trying to sell kitchen towels but those hot pots bam you need a pot holder because <laughs> if not you're going to burn yourself enjoy burning yourself well these are some of these are like red white and blue so it's kind of cool for like for july the whole okay if i have a house and i'm gonna if i have a house in galveston this is how i'm gonna decorate my kitchen with these little pretty things that look like some kind of palm tree maybe i don't know but there's and there's these it's kind of wild for me I put it in this color and then with the green mixed in and the little, the, the flower pot holders The yes most definitely now then oh but if you wanted to i could go and get these blue mainstay that would match my kitchen oh oh yeah i see i love cookware too much then I'm like is this like a griddle oh these are the lodge griddles it's just like there's uh what do you call these um my oh, mind is not here. Cast iron. Cast iron is super heavy. You don't. I wouldn't want to buy this because then I'm like, unless I have a cart. Like, how am I gonna carry this all the way up to the front to go pay for it? 
that's it's not gonna happen. Not going to happen. Moving on. Okay, so it's summertime. I need to look for specific summer items, maybe. I, we did sunglasses, so maybe summer items. Something is summertime's coming. It's not summertime yet. Don't get me confused. I, I get myself confused. Okay, well, okay, it's summertime. If you need to drink, you know, you're hanging around at the house, you know, in the backyard, growing, and you know, your aunt always has to have a drink when she comes over. So you know. Just kind of be sweet, you know, like, you know, we should put, give you a drink with a pineapple. She's like, oh, I would love that. Like, well, you just drink wine. We'll just put it in this thing. Yes, it is a pineapple drink. It's got a straw. See? Yum. How much you think I was drinking it? But, yeah, nothing in there. But that'd be perfect for a Rayette who loves to drink. I'm not mentioning names here. Like, if anybody's watching, you know. <laughs> I have more than one aunt that likes to drink, though. But, you know, hey. <laughs> I could have... I could have a, a non-aunt that likes to drink, or a non-drink. <laughs> well, I like to drink, but not alcohol. Well, yeah, okay, margaritas, but let's not go there. It's been a while. Okay, more, more, um, well, oh, here's for my aunt that likes to drink. Definitely. <laughs> ah, no, let's get you down, sweet. So we're going for summer geared stuff. She so said, oh, okay, you gotta make some, uh, sun tea. I make this all the time. Well, it's been a while, but... Summer, and today we've got, okay, they've got the Galveston colors, what I call more Galveston. And there's pineapples here, if you want that for the summertime. And these things really aren't summery. They're blue, but <laughs> they're not summery. <laughs> there's a summery of. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, so you gotta have a tea pitcher. And there's some more tea pitchers here. Those are, those are pitchers, but they get spigots. The difference is, what do you do with these? Hey, cool. What are you do with this? I don't know. What does it say? It is. It says. I'm gonna go back to the differences in a minute. It's called a retail price. <laughs> it's what it says on the ticket. I don't know what it is. It's, I guess you could put solar on these things. Um, napkins. It's pretty cool for summer. Um. Anyways, the difference is. Okay, these are glass ones with spigots. The difference between a spigot and non spigot. Okay, this is just a tea pitcher. That's why it's called a tea pitcher because it's just a pitcher of tea well it's an empty pitcher right now but when you put tea in it it'll be a pitcher of tea moving on <laughs> those are the ones with spigots though however let's say like i said you're having an outdoor barbecue you got a spigot here okay somebody just brings your cup you already it's already filled with tea sweetened or unsweet or whatever let me just take your cup and just i'm gonna get this to go pulls it up just a cup underneath here. Bam. Fills it up with tea. So yeah, we put ice in there. And then they just take your cup and go sit down and drink your tea. So, therefore, you don't have to worry about refilling a pitcher in that case. But if it's just going to be, say, you. Say it would be just me and my husband. Okay, we do it just a pitcher of tea. It's just us. But, or we could do a spigot. Either way, it doesn't matter. And move out of the way here. So, we're focusing on more summer items. I guess you want to go appliances. Here's kind of a summer item. I don't know if people do this in the summer. It's hot, so this is hot. So I don't know. They have a Presto Fry Daddy right here. So air fryer is supposed to be better for you. So if you want to air fry, they have the Ninja air fryer. So there's that, which is a lot more expensive. You get thirty-four, thirty-two for a Fry Daddy, and you get ninety-nine dollars for a Ninja air fryer. But, if you want to be healthier and fry at the same time, you get the Ninja. More expensive. It's well, we always more expensive to be healthy. So, like, let's say you're going to make, you're going to have hamburgers on the grill. Well, people want fries usually with their hamburgers or chips. But, if you don't want to do chips, which is cheaper, but it doesn't matter. I think it's cheaper, I'm not sure. Somewhere along the lines there, it might be cheaper. Um, so then you just put your fries in there. Put your oil in, put your fries in. And you fry them in the fry daddy or the air fryer if you prefer that. Which you could use probably indoors or outdoors. I think outdoors would be good for the fry daddy. Indoors would be good for the uh, air fryer. Just my own opinion. We have microwaves. It's not really summer. Summary. Summary of microwaves. <laughs> Summary. <laughs> summer stuff. I, say, I try to say summer stuff. Well, I'm not. This is not. It's not very good. It's not very alchemy. 
Oh my gosh, you got a cobalt blue KitchenAid. I'm sorry, it's not summer at all, but we might be making cookies in the summer. I don't know how many cookies in the summer, but. Ah, look at that. It's cobalt blue. Okay. Uh, okay, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm, in, I'm in the right area, I think. Yes. Okay, so it's summertime. You have an outdoor backyard barbecue. You need to make up some margaritas. Let's review. I'm not going to show you these. I'm going to. Um, these are blenders. So, of course, yeah. So, let me see. The cheapest one is $14.92, and it's a. Doesn't say. Um, does that say what it is? It doesn't say what kind of blender it is. Um, anywhere here. Okay, well, then we'll just not use that one. We'll use the cheapest one that's 19.96. It is a Hamilton Beach. Okay. Hamilton Beach blenders are actually supposed to be better, better for making drinks, making smoothies, stuff like that. Okay. Then you have your your oyster which sounds like toaster i want to call it an oyster but it's not an oyster maybe it's an oyster or oyster i don't know how to say that i have another hamilton beat here now what is the difference this one is kind of a cheap plastic the good thing about this this hamilton beach and i'm going to show it to you it's a smoothie blender but you can use it for other stuff too yeah you can use it for other stuff you can even crush ice with this thing you know, you can crush ice. You can crush ice with blenders. Did you know that? It's pretty cool. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> so this one is good. It's got a lot of nice buttons. It's plastic. So the good thing about it, good thing about it, is if you wanted something that you're not gonna worry about. Most usually are glass about it breaking. Like if you drop the glass um, pitcher on it. So if you wanted to just get a plastic one, this is the only plastic pitcher here. So if you want to get a plastic one, this would be the choice, okay? So the options it has is off, low, high, stir, great, pulse, ice crush, whip, puree, milkshake, you better milkshake in it, smoothie, uh, grind, chop, and icy drink. Okay, so there is the plastic one. That is the Hamilton Beach. So I'm kind of doing a little bit of a review on this. I haven't used this product, but I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of a review. It's perfect for smoothies. It has so many options. If you want a plastic pitcher, you don't have to worry about it dropping and breaking. Okay? You know, when you take it off and you pour it, you might drop it. it might. A lot of times to me, the glass seems to be slippery. This is just the glass that I'm showing you. The glass seems to be slippery on the handle. So, now then, as far as the oysters go... <clears throat> These are both glass. This oyster seems to offer more than this other oyster. Um, so we go over what the first oyster has. It's called a Duralast Classic. They're both a Duralast Classic. Oh. It's all metal drive. So the the thing at the bottom that cuts it, the blade is all metal. Which I guess is good. Unless you're going to cut yourself. If you're sticking your hand in a blender and turning it down, that is a problem. <laughs> Sounds like the goodies to me. Anyways, um, so your options here are off, easy clean, stir, low, milkshake cream, medium, smoothie extract, high, ice crush, and pulse. Okay, so this still has the same options as the other one did, so it doesn't have, like, the whip. It doesn't have, like, the grind and the grate and, uh, stir. Uh, does it have pulse? Does it even have pulse? Just, no, you said it says pulse. Okay, so... It doesn't have as many options as the last one did, but let me look at the next one's options. Okay, this one has off, easy clean, stir, soup, puree, low, that's, that's in the low category, the off, e easy clean, stir, soup, puree. Then in the medium category, you've got salsa, chop, milkshake, cream, frozen drink, whip. And then the high category, which is the frozen drink, whip, you also got smoothie extract, ice, Crush and puree. So this has more options and it's a little prettier to look at. So here's the first one, which is $24.99. It's cheaper. Why is it cheaper? Less options. You have less options here of oh, these buttons here. Okay. The next one is $39.92. Why is it more expensive? More options. And maybe the coating on this. I don't know. Not sure. Okay. This is the other Hamilton Beach that we showed you. I really can't read these, but this is the other Hamilton Beach. It's a wave action blender, 700 watt, black pearl. This is why it's more expensive because it's it's a black pearl. You have probably more options 
No, you actually have the same amount of options or less uh, amount of options than the other one. So, more expensive because it's glass and it's, it's supposed to be designed for wire blending, so that's more expensive. All right, so I'm moving back on to summer, summer stuff where, oh, I skipped the summer thing over here. I know I saw that everybody has to have around summer, and I hope you didn't pass it up. I think I know where it's at. Follow me around Walmart, or around the Wally World, whatever you want to call it. Whatever floats your boat. Oh, galvanized buckets. They're not really summer, but for you, but I sent them. So there you go. Summer stuff. Moving on. Okay, it was right by the sunglasses, and I just passed it because there's a lady coming through here earlier. So, let's see. These are cheap. They're good for if you're going to go fishing and you put your fish in something. That's really all they're good for. Well, I've lived, we use it. I've used one of these coolers before, similar to that. It's okay for maybe a day or so, but after that, it tends to fall apart. So, not the best option. And then here's, here's the lids. Not the best option. Uh, these have uh, handles. Not necessarily the best option for a cooler. Now, I only have three coolers to choose from. You've you got your classic red. And they're all, these are sixteen eighty eight. dollars was really cheap. This is your classic red. This is Igloo. And Igloo recalled their coolers because a, a boy uh, got inside the cooler. You can see these are the ones I'm looking at. Got inside the cooler. And the lid shut on him. I don't believe these are the exact ones they were called. I think the ones they were called were a lot longer. Let me get this down. We can get a little tour. I'm just afraid I can't get it back in there. I'm just going to stick it right here. And open it. There we go. That is the inside of a cooler. Nice and white and clean. I love the smell of plastic when it's brand new. You don't ask me why all that smell comes back. It smells like the pool. Like a pool. Like a new pool or a pool. I don't know. But then you get classic right here. Good for if you don't have any chairs. You just plop yourself down on one of these bad boys. Okay? It's good for if you don't have chairs. Let me ask yourself, how come I have a sweater over my shirt? That is because it gets cold out here, especially at night. And it was cold yesterday afternoon. Um, it's supposed to warm up today some warm. Um... But it hasn't <laughs> yet. So I wore this last night to bed too with my blue sweats. I mean, the blue sweats. Right there. I've been wearing these like all week long because I don't have very, very many clothes. So, yeah, forgive me. This is another one of. This is like a classic blue. You have your classic red and your classic blue. These are. Well, I didn't even tell you how big these were. So it's probably a good idea, but I can't tell you, give me an idea how big these are. There's another Walmart. You can go. Um, it says it takes 76 cans. It doesn't tell me how big it is. Okay, there it is. 48, 48 quarts. That's 48 quarts of stuff. Um, I don't know the differences in these. I think they're the same thing. One says I agree, and one doesn't say anything. So, anyways, same thing. Same thing as this one. This one is also the same 48 quarts here. So, you have that. And then, now these, do these have the wheels on them? Let me see. Yes, these have wheels. This is what you really need, and it's a little bit more pricey. $26.97 is the price. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Right there. But, the cool thing about this is, okay, it's got, let me show you what it's got. It's cool. Okay, so it's got wheels here. See those wheels? Now, over here, up top, this has a get to open when you can see it. And the pull, pull up handle. You just push this button. You know, it's not working now. I must have broke it. <laughs> the point of the handle is that you push that button and it pulls pulls the handle up so you can carry it like one of those, you know, uh, rolling suitcases. So if you're, let's say you, let's say your friend says, hey, listen, I'm throwing a backyard barbecue Saturday. I need you to bring the beer or the sodas or whatever and or bring ice chest full of ice okay so you got your ice chest sitting at home so you already bought it of course you did here's a cool part this also doubles as a chair but look, 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 look you can put your beers or your sodas 
and these. And even, I think these hold 20 ounce bottles. So, you know, you can buy it at the store, like a Dr. Pepper or a Coke or whatever brand of soda you like. And I don't think you can make 20 ounce bottles of beer, but you probably could put long neck bottles in those too. I don't know. I'm not sure they would hold that well. But, um, so this is a 60 quarts. It's much bigger. It can hold 90 cans. I don't think if that includes the ones on top, but. And it's it's a rolling, it's called Ice Cube Cooler by Igloo. It's a rolling cart cooler. And um, so you just put this in, you put, you know, you say you gotta pull, bring some ice. Go buy a bag of ice, you know, wherever you're gonna buy, wherever you buy ice. Load it up, fill it up. Load it up in your car and put it to your, take it to your friend's house. And uh, you gotta walk, they got a, let's say they got a fence here. You gotta walk, the uh, fence is open, you gotta walk through the fence all the way to the backyard to bring your cooler of ice. Which also doubles as a seat. So, yeah. so, it's on wheels. You pull that handle up, pop it open, and you roll it on down. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy, I think that's the way it goes. Uh, this is an array of keychains that I really, really don't need to look at. Uh, definitely summertime. Well, they only have one brand. But, whatever. It's, um, it's summertime. What is the worst, worst thing about summer? Uh, not the heat. Well, it's one of the worst things, but what's one of the worst things about summer? Mm, I can tell you. I used to be homeless. I used to live in a tent. Well, the one thing I hate, I cannot stand. I actually got used to, but I can't stand it. 386 for a bottle of Repel. This keeps your mosquitoes away. It's supposed to. It's supposed to repel them. I don't know. Uh, this one's in the family. Yeah, we gotta we take care of family mosquitoes. I don't know. It's for your family. It's safe. Not really. <laughs> Uncle White ingested the repel. He's drinking it. This is Max. It's better family or Max. I don't know. Okay, moving on. Okay, some more things. Oh, these are wagons. These are pretty cool to have. I have an array of chairs. If you're gonna bring some chairs to your party. These are 1288 because they've got little prints on them. These here are plain, so they're all 597 because they're plain. So you always need a chair or something. Moving on to summer stuff. Um, oh, there's definitely some summer stuff here. You, you need the grill to grill out. These are little grills, but still, if you want to just eat a little charcoal grill, you do it for fair for people. You know, not really big barbecue. And you, you've got charcoal briquettes here. That are five ninety six, or you can buy the big old huge bag here of the Royal Oak. Uh, this is actually um, yeah, struggle. It's a big bag there. Or you could buy the Matchlight Kingsford Matchlight, which is a preferred brand. There's more Kingsford down here. There's some more barbecue girls here. There are you get nineteen ninety seven for these, and those of these blue ones here are. 49.2. So these little ones back here are cheaper than these are. Now, here's the thing about that. I'm talking a lot. They have all these signs say low price. They could put the prices up there. Instead of putting the prices over here. Come on now, Walmart. Did you think about that one? <gasps> Definitely going to do this. Definitely. These are a little Easter, but I'll I don't know, they're in the they're in the souvenir section. It's a bit summery. Sorry, sorry. I think I did this backwards. Oh, this goes in the front. Yep, I think it goes in the front. I think I'm not sure where this goes, but there's there's a pink hat for there's some weird sun visors. This one's got mm -hmm. whales on it, sorry. This one I like, it's got pretzels and it's got a pink frosted donut there. Hey, pretzel. Let's try it on. Oh, I'm gonna do this with just, I'll just put it like that. There. It's summer. You need a hat. <laughs> I just put it on my head. Uh, this makes me feel sand everywhere. <gasps> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have to try this one on. Sorry. It's huge, it's oversized, and it says beach life. Beach, this is the life. I hate one of these big, huge, oversized. Look like some lady that's had a lot of money, but really doesn't. 
I look like I have a lot of money, but I'm actually poor. <laughs> uh, here's more of these. These are pretty cool. They got this little metallic thing on them, but they're glass. So, yeah. Let's see what else we can find for summer. Oh, you're in Galveston. You must have one of these. It's a bicycle. Bicycle. And you gotta get it permitted if you buy it. I don't know what the size these are, probably kids or something. I don't know. Moving on to more summer things. Because it's summer. Basketballs are summer? Not really, but here's some basketballs for you. It's a little late for March Madness, but there you go. I think there's more coolers down there. I think that's coolers. No. Uh, is it coolers? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, but we're going to find out. Sure, look at all these bikes. It's bike mania over here. It is bike mania. Brother. That's my best um, impression of a Hulk Hogan brother. It's the worst. <laughs> Here's another one of those. Um, this is Igloo with wheels, um, which is, can, be, can work too, but it doesn't have a pull-up handle with a little button. It does have a handle, though, here on the side. And those are like, uh, I'm going to give you the price, but they are not priced. They just not say how much they are. Is the same things? Okay, yeah. No, these are the same things. So they are actually here at this price now. Twenty-three forty-seven, way down here. This is a bunch of little coolers. If you want a little bitty, it's a Hawaii breeze is what that's called. And that's only 28 quarts. So if it's just like a small barbecue, put some beers in there. Look a maybe a 12 pack of beers. Probably fit in there. I mean, I don't know. I don't drink beer, so I wouldn't know. Some thermoses if you want to drink alcohol and bring it to the party. Ooh. <laughs> I did I did I'm not condoning this. Oh no, here's some more cheap coolers. And they're called husky. But it's called H-U-S-K-E. -E. What's up with that? Husky. <gasps> okay, wait, this is definitely summertime items. It's definitely Galveston items too. You're gonna have to need a, a life jacket. These are kids. No, those are adults. Those are adults. Those are adults. It's not really my style, but if I needed a life jacket, I mean I know where to come. Does this have a price on it, is it? A seven bucks for a life jacket? Heck yeah. I might do that. There's some tents. There's free camping on Bellar Peninsula. You just gotta pay ten dollars for a parking pass. You have to go to the Valero where we went. So if you want to camp on a tent, it's better in the summertime because right now it's too cold to even camp. This is more camping gear. Oh, uh, what's that? I thought it was a gas can. I was still gonna major in a jug, but I'm glad. But apparently it was not a gas can. It was a antifreeze can. And I don't think Uncle Ed drinks antifreeze. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you about the time I drink some antifreeze. Oh no. It is. This is more camping gear. Okay, here's some summer stuff. Um, a what is this called? Soft edge flying disc. Great for the dogs, I guess. Or the people. <laughs> Which, whichever. Which, whoever wants to throw and catch it. Let the dog throw it this time. Um, mom, he can't throw it. <laughs> I don't think it's well. Oh, he just threw it. What the hell? <laughs> okay, those little soft flying discs. And I'm getting everywhere. God dang it, they fall, these things. <laughs> I have a good picture of me in my hair as I've been down to get, get these things and I can't pick them up. I have to go to this one. I have one more here. I'm probably just going to stick it on top because I, I won't fit in the box. That's probably why it fell in the first place. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's better. Oh, badminton. Who wants to play badminton? Not with you, Uncle Ed. I know what you mean by badminton. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, huh. it's a badminton rocket set. <laughs> you need a rocket? I'll get you a rocket for you. Thank you. It's a badminton set there. You guys can play badminton outside. Kerosene. Don't ever drink it. Don't ever drink kerosene. I had a, I had a kerosene sandwich once. That's a true story. Yeah, no, I don't know what happened. I think what happened is kerosene leaked into one of our containers and it had bread in it and it soaked into the bread container. Oh, these are really cool. I gotta show you these if they work. So into the bread container and then I made a sandwich with it and yeah, no, not good. Okay, this is a light. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, but they come actually like this. Let me show you. I picked them up like that. It's a black one. It's not a black light. Don't get me confused. Should I give another color? Let me see if I can get this with tablet in hand. Okay. 
off. Try to do a demonstration. It's not working. You're still there. Thanks, Lord. Okay, hold up. I can do a demonstration here. I gotta find something to put this up on. Okay. Now that I can do a demonstration. What is that? It's a light. And, and in these things here, you hang it. It's a, um, it doesn't turn on, so I couldn't really show you the light. But it's a lantern. It's a mini lantern. This thing you can hang it in a tent or wherever. And then, you know, when you're tired of the light, you know, bam. No more light for you. <laughs> that's that's an interesting uh, thing there. Moving on. This is a 40 minute video. Wow. On bubbles? Is that summertime? Not really. More coolers. More classic red coolers. I feel like I'm on the Sims here with all this. I have a cooler on the Sims. Yeah. That's not summertime. Oh, this is, I guess, summertime. It's a, whenever you want to do it time. Fishing poles. I like to mess with these. They look some. Oh, that one doesn't make noise. Darn it. Usually they make noise. Is there any noise? Is there any more fishing poles that I can go mess with? Wait, wait, wait. There's some down here. Oh. Oh, now if you're going to go fishing, you need this. Some bait. Some bait. I'm going to get some weird fishing glasses. Some... Oh, I'm trying these fishing glasses on. Let's, let's. Give it a look see. More sunglasses. Fishing glasses. What are you talking about? Get out of fishing these. Okay, this is really weird. Hurts my eyes. I have not done that no more. Fishing glasses. Okay. I'm looking for poles, not glasses. Anyways. I'm looking for poles. I don't find stuff over here. It is a dial scale. Yeah. Scale tackle boxes. You need a tackle box to go fishing, and then also that goes in the tackle box is down here, and all the fishing poles are up there. Great. Oh, wait, 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 wait. no, there's more. There's kitty ones. And oh, wait, does that make noise? No, it's not making any noise. Oh, these are cool. They're frozen. They're frozen fishing poles. It won't make any noise. No, moving on. Moving on. I'm so pissed off. <laughs> Some more fishing gear back that way. Oh, you know what? Listen. I I hate getting stuck in a boat without any kind of help. So if you get stuck in a boat in Galveston, you need to row. Row your boat. Row your boat. Row. This is it's neat. It collapses. Can get the clips? Okay, now that's in the toy for Uncle Ed, so I'm putting that away before Uncle Ed gets his hands on it. What do you got for me? <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> oh, no. Hmm. There any he here. What are these? What are these things? <gasps> it's a whistle. I dare whistle in Walmart. I dare. I dare get kicked out of Walmart. <laughs> Alright. Hey, that wasn't that bad. I left my germs on it forever. This is next. Mariner. I guess if you need a. Uh, oh, God, God, that's heavy. Was this a kitty? It's, no, it's kid. It's called kid. And, but it's a, it's a freaking fire extinguisher. If you need, if, you're, if your boat catches fire, buy them. Find one of these on your boat. If you got it, buy one. If you got a boat, buy one. Uh, okay, this stuff is really good. They have it. It's, it's, it's called Strin. Okay, it's fishing line. But for girls. If you make necklaces, here's this is a different brand, but I'm just showing you. If you make necklaces, use this fishing line and some scissors. Use fishing line to make your necklaces. Here's a piece right here, if you can see that. To make your necklaces, all you gotta do, I'm just trying to get to the end of this. So you put is pull pull your beads on through there for beaded necklaces. And then you just cut it to size. That's what I used to use. Are these fishing weights? They're weighted. Maybe what I've been looking for. I heard you can make uh, ankle weights out of fishing weights, so good thing to do. So fishing is kind of kind of kind of summer. <gasps> you know, I needed a woody one. I call it toy claws banking right there. You hit one of them. It's worth it. I'm so puddle. You gotta row. Sometimes you gotta row. 
Wait, it's not a video. No, I didn't. There's some more. Okay, there's a bigger one. I'm not going to get into the bigger ones. This is too much. What else is back here? No, this is car stuff. It's not really summer. I really like the name of this. I don't know why. Look at the name of this. Ugly stick. Somebody gets beat with an ugly stick and it's a fishing pole. Who names it? Fishing pole company. Ugly stick. It's not really fishing. I guess... I guess first aid kits are summer. I don't really know if they're summer. They're all they're all they're year round. So I am guessing it's a, it could be a summer item. So there's a first aid kits here. There's a little bitty one. It's for your car though. It's for your car. I don't have a car. Um, Bust the sun out of your eyes with the Star Wars. Star Wars. Uh, Auto spring shade. Star Wars. It's, Got a uh, Obi Wan Kenobi, I think. It's Obi Wan Kenobi. I like saying that. Anyways, <sighs> it's not really summer. Sorry. Not, oh, here we go. We found his gas can. Man, this is what you've been drinking out of, Uncle Ed. Got some problems there. Okay, in the automotive. It's a bucket for summer, I guess. Not really. <laughs> it's buckets of fun. <laughs> It's a bucket of fun. Alright. I found a summertime item. I found one. It just took me quite some time. Yeah, Lasco is very famous. You know what Lasco is? You know what a Lasco branded item is? It's a stand fan. There's black and there's blue. And they stand. Stand fan. I'm about to say. These are pretty cool. And they're usually pretty cheap in the summertime to get a fan. Oh, here's some more fans. They're known for, mostly known for their box fans. We actually had one of these. Purple ones. And got rid of it. Actually, it looks really good. So if you ever get one of these Lasco fans, I would get one of these colored ones. They have a blue one down there, and they have a black one, and then a purple. They're actually really good. And they're actually cheap. It's seventeen eighty eight. And then, or you can get one of these box fans. These real regular plain old box fans. Nobody likes the box fans. And then the thermometer because it's uh, it's hot outside. You need to know how hot it is. All right. Some more fans down here. I have fans. <laughs> I have fans. <laughs> Did you know that I have fans? And there's some ACs over here, some window unit ACs. I have fans. I have multiple fans. Oh, these are definitely, a, this is definitely a, um, these are little mini fans. Those are definitely the right items. Um, it's like desk fans, personal fans, and stuff like that. Ooh, I like the color. Seafoam green. Perfect for Galveston, obviously. These are pretty cool. I had one of these at one time, but I couldn't figure out how to work it. It's a, it's a, it's a deluxe water misting fan. It's a mister, that's what I call it. But what happens is you put water in this portion here, and then you think you, I think you put batteries in it, I think so. And then, um, yeah, batteries I think go down here, or like, I'm not sure. And then you just, um, it's got a button in the back, on the back here, a button. What happens is it sprays water out at you, Where's your face? But that one's missing the blades. No, I guess not. But it has blades that go all the way around it. And it's as a fan. It's this head part here, this head piece here, is a fan and then it sprays water out, I think, through here or through one of these regions. The fan, the mister. Miss keeps you cool, does it now? Does it now? Trash cans, moving blanket. I don't think that's summer stuff. Um, paint is not really summer. It's an all year round thing. I don't think that's, that's the department I want. Um, not the department I want. Moving on. Um, oh, it's buckets of fun. Buckets of fun. Buckets of fun. Show them buckets. Do you need a ladder? You get there. Oh, wait, wait, that sounds sexual. Do you need a ladder? You need to get up there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got your ladders. <laughs> I'm still getting dizzy here, so if you see the camera going all the purchases. Signs, they're all year round. I don't know. Definitely not summer. Okay, I guess you need one of these in the summer. A smoke alarm. Any, anytime, I guess. Not really summertime. There's some rope if you want to tie down your tent. It's kind of summer y. Summary of ropes. There's some white. I don't think you need that. I don't think you need, I don't think that, uh, 
tools are similar products either. Oh no, but wait, but wait. It's not summer, but I have to try these goggles on. I have to. Safety goggles. Well, it says safety glasses, but they're actually safety goggles. So, let's this is what they look like. And let's try them on. So, safety is my number one priority. Sorry, I'm not crazy rich and hacker, but whatever. I got hair in there. Okay, whoa. Not bad. Looks like I got a pretty cool scientist lady. Ooh, ooh. All right. Now the colored ones. Those I'm gonna try. Is a more another one of these yellow things and it's probably gonna come out with the yellow sunglasses. Let's see if it affects the lights like I did last time. That's gonna be a cool test. Yellow. So it's like a urine card. <laughs> safety goggles or safety glasses, what it calls it. They're goggles, not glasses. Come on, people. I know the difference. Safety glasses. Oh, yeah, it did affect the lighting. I can actually look right into the lights and nothing happens. I'm not getting a headache or anything. This is, this is kind of cool on me, I guess. I didn't know I would look good in safety goggles. I guess I do. That's, that's good to know that I look good in. Now for the blacks. The black safety goggles. Why do you need black safety goggles? It just makes no sense. Like sunglasses. Maybe they said double as a sunglasses and safety goggles. Like, it's kind of like keep me from doing any kind of experiments with them because it's so dark. No, you can actually see normally. It's a little bit tinted like the sunglasses, what like sunglasses are, but see, these actually don't look that bad on me either. I just need a pair of safety goggles. Why can't they may, like, manufacture her safety goggles that look like sunglasses? Because that, I mean, these are kind of like sunglasses. This would probably work. So, I mean, and they're are like 448. You can't beat that for safety goggles. I'm sorry, I had to try them on. They're not in summer, but I had to try them on. Is that a tripod? Oh, that's a tripod. Comfort foldable tripod, yes. Not really summer, but it's something I need to look at for, for, for my lighting. It's not summer. Lighting is not summer. Well, more lighting. Lighting all over the place. This is electronics. I think I'm gonna find these summer items in electronics. But, you know, you might find a summer item. Let's see. I was specifically looking for something summer. Summery. Nintendo stuff. It's not summery. Maybe a summer game? I'm doing summer games. I don't really. I don't know. Hello, neighbor. That's a game? Okay. Well, um. Any kind of summer? Crash Bandicoot? That's kind of summer. Crash Bandicoot? Kind of summer. The Crash Bandicoot. Can you see it? It's Crash Bandicoot. But I didn't know that was still out. It's an old game. Still nothing summer. Uh, candles aren't really summer, I guess. No, not really. Like a Sounds of Summer CD. Sounds of... Oh, this is definitely summer. And actually, I think we had this at one point. Definitely summer. If you like this kind of music, I really don't prefer it. It's kind of okay. Oh, Beach Boys. So, uh, sounds of Summer. I just said it, didn't I? I have to say Sounds of Summer. That is deja vu. And that's pretty good. I said Sounds of Summer. Why not? It's the name of the freaking CD. Oh, here's some summer stuff. I think it's men's or boys. I don't know. Some swim trucks. Would you like to turn on some swim trucks? <laughs> no, thank you, sir. I don't. Ooh, those are even better. I like those. No, those are okay. I like these, though. So. Do you try on some swim trucks? Um, <coughs> are you a size medium? No, I'm a size large. Oh, you need a large. Okay, well, let's see what we have in the large sizes. Um, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. A size large? That's a small. Oh, it's perfect. Here, try it on. Here, try it on. Here. Uh, it's a small. Oh, it's a small. Is it? It's, it's not gonna fit. Oh, it's not gonna fit. It's not too big. Maybe you need to lose some weight. Oh, how dare you. Some little, these are boys. Yeah, summertime shirts. This is like not really summertime, but okay. Anyway, moving on. Um, I guess they're done in this area. So we're gonna move on to, I guess, food. I didn't really see a whole bunch of summer stuff in electronics. So we move on to food. Um, except for this TV, the way it looks, it looks like something like some houses in Galveston. But we're gonna move on. I'm not gonna look at summer clothes either. Well, actually, that's kind of summery. Kind of. Anyways, 
definitely summer. The girls' Easter dresses, kind of summer, really more spring. That was summer. Oh, definitely found the ultimate summer item. And these are always cheaper, like 99 cents. 98 cents, actually. That's how much they are. Flippy floppies, you need some. Hey, you left your flip flops in the sand, you're gonna have to buy another pair. Some red ones. These are all color flip flops, made multiple colors. Mostly they have red and red, blue and black. Well, they happen to have a pair of uh, green turquoise and pink for the kids. So, 98 cents. And they got another pink, kind of pink for the kids. And they got a purple. They got a purple. They got a seafoam green and I'm dropping them. It's my McDonald's from here and I'm hungry. Uh, I think that's pretty much all the colors. There's, there's a gray. There's a gray. There's some gray ones if you like gray. Uh, but, oh, I know it's turned back. Oh, definitely, definitely summer items. You definitely need some sunscreen out in Galveston. If you're going to be at the beach, definitely need some sunscreen. You're supposed to get the highest SPF to avoid, I think, sunscreen. Sun cancer? This is a 70, this is a 100, and it's equate. It's cheap. It's $4.98, 5 bucks, 400 SPF. You're supposed to get the highest. That's what I heard. I don't see anything higher than 100, really. And then, oh, this stuff is actually really good for you. If you get sunburned, you just put it on your sunburn, and it's supposed to take the burn away. Aloe. So it's in the same place. It's just a deal. You just put it on your sunburn. Or if you can't put it on your sunburn, get somebody else to. Definitely not Uncle Ed. Don't you be touching my sunburn. Um, you just spray on. There's lotion. I prefer the lotion. I don't really like spray on. Um, I don't see anything higher than 100. So I think that 100 is actually... Phenomenal. That's the best one, actually. Nothing higher. This is what I'm seeing. 30, 15. Well, okay, if you just wanted to, to not care, if you got a, a sunburn on it, you could get some, um, I don't even know what kind this is. Australian gold. It's 8 SPF. 8. I'm just going to burn all day long. I don't care. Let my skin fall off. Oh, but I really like this container. I'm going to have to pick it up. I really like this coconut container for Australian gold. Look at this. Look at this. It's a coconut. It's, um, can I just keep the container? Can you sell it to me? I want that container. It's cool. Anyways, it's plastic. That's cool. Anyways, that's the cheapest, really the cheapest I've seen for 100 SPF. It's the last one left. You obviously know people are listening to what I say if they've taken all of these 100 SPFs from these two trays. This is the last one left. I think we gotta snag it or maybe hide it somewhere. So, should we? I don't know. I, I can leave it up to a vote on Instagram, but I don't think I have time for that. So, well, just leave it for now. That's why I'm going to be a little good little girl. More for that. Good flops, yeah. He was talking about the He's talking to me. More, and then, okay, you never run any of the water shoes for the kiddos. Keep, you're supposed to keep the water out of your feet so you don't like your shoes wet or something like that. It's all different colors, all different sizes. More flippy flops and sandals here. It's kind of cute, actually. Looks like the beach to me, little rocks and stuff. There's all kinds of flip flops and sandals there. Why are those a pair of slippers? It mixed in with us. And a pair of boots. Well, it's clear, so that's why. Okay. Oh, cute. Yeah, these little boots. Those little cowboy boots for girls. Okay, enough of that. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to move on to summertime snacks and summertime foods that you can make for summer. Um, I guess it's a summer item. It's kids' sippy cup, 96 cents. Well, kids are going to need a sippy cup to drink out of. I guess it's summer. A variety pack of some kind of kids' foods that I would never eat. Um, now, one more thing of flip-flops to show you before we go to the food. Flip-flops here. Sandals here. Okay. Moving on. Okay, so summertime snacks. Blaze has assortment, an assortment of different kinds of snacks. Um, flaming hot. Um, what? Oh, they have beer and tea. Now that might be a good summertime snack. I got beer and cheese. I said beer and cheese, kettle coat. Um, so that might be a good summertime snack. Or the fiery jalapeno if you like stuff like that. But I prefer the classic barbecue chips. Blaze. Um, you got your dips. You got your ranch here. And you got your uh, French onion. They're both good. 
they got like French onion back there, right? I'm not sure. And you got your bean you dip, which, like I said, they've changed the recipe on this. And then you got your hot bean dip, and then you got your mild cheddar bean dip, which I've never eaten. And then it's Tostitos cheeses, and the Queso Blanco, Southwest cheese, and corn 